How's it going, chat? Hell yeah, brother. Yo, welcome back, everybody, to Bell Right. Good to see you all here. Unfortunately, this game ends today. Uh, the content creator, I don't know, early playtest or whatnot ends in just a few hours. So as we played through this whole thing, I kind of knew that, you know, we wouldn't have enough time to do everything we wanted to do in the game. So we were kind of testing out and goofing with things and finding out a more optimized way to do things when it all drops. Uh, currently, the game's in early access, as it says here. And I think what this is, is probably the early access version that everyone will get eventually when it drops. Although I don't know exactly when. Some people were saying like next week or within a couple weeks. But uh, it's been fun to kind of goof around and do things like, uh, you know, make a bow and arrow and shoot stuff. Although that doesn't seem to be fully fleshed out and, you know, kind of explore and do whatever. Uh, again, because this has only been like a three-day limited time thing we were we wouldn't be able to build a castle like that or something like that so some people were getting all sweaty and their their vein was popping out about dude you didn't do what i do ah, dude you did i ah, do relax it's just a game <laughs> some of those people need to relax i saw somebody this morning wrote like a college thesis of like four paragraphs of you didn't you dude you didn't come back to camp with a full dude we can do we know when you're dude you bro you need to relax dude it's just a game. Dude, you didn't. Why did you do, 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 Like, I, I, sh I should have screenshotted it. We should have made it today's, uh, like, uh, I should actually make that a placemat. You know, or like a, like a, uh, like a little, uh, what do you call it? The coaster. I should make it a coaster. Dude, you didn't. I just put my drink down on it. Like, relax. It's a fun game, dude. It's like Medieval Dynasty meets uh, RimWorld, some people were saying. To me, for the games that I played, this is certainly... Uh, definitely Medieval Dynasty meets a little bit of, uh, like, enshrouded with how the NPCs work. But anyway, we're going to just uh, have some shenanigans today and see if we can get ourselves some rugged shirts made. And uh, just we're just going to complete some quests today and have a good time. So that's what we're here for. So one's in the chat if you're here for a good time, man. Let's have some let's have some fun. Dude, you did You do 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 you do Hey, relax. Okay, uh, we're gonna make the rugged shirts. Uh, where do we have to make those now? Oh, we got. Oh, I gotta grab more hemp. I see a lot of ones in the chat. Wait, you guys are here for fun and not ap absolute one hundred percent at all times optimized gaming. What the? F That's disgusting. You guys are disgusting. You're not here for abs absolute one hundred percent at all times optimization, dude. You didn't. Why didn't you? You didn't. Okay, we gotta get some simple cords. Uh, I thought I had those. <laughs> One three three seven. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Good to see you all here. I think we need to make some more cord too. Uh, is each shirt two? It is okay. So we'll make one of these. After uh, this, we're gonna try to get some more people to uh, build stuff for us. Although one of the things to consider is that the people who um, are NPCs might not always be able to do the stuff we want them to do. Like, for example, I'd love to do farming, but I don't think anybody we have in our team is a farmer. If we did have them do farming, though, we'd, of course, have to make a shovel and a uh, a hoe, so that way they could till the land and complete some other quests. So we want to do everything, but it all comes down to time, baby. Dude, you did, you, you, do you. <laughs> uh, where's the Hearts of Iron 4 gameplay? On the channel. Make sure after you subscribe and turn on the notification bell, you check the channel for all the games you may have missed. I think uh, one of the things that happens often on the channel is people uh, ask if I played something or ask where something is, and then they either don't look for it or don't watch it. So look for it on the channel and watch it on the channel, too. Enjoy. It's it's all listed there. You can uh, search for it. Just type in a, name, a game name and then my name, and you should be able to find it. Like, dude, where's Grounded? Just type in Raptor Plays Grounded. You should be able to find it. That kind of thing. Yep, ready for man. Oh yeah, another thing, Manor Lords. This is certainly like Manor Lords too, or at least it's got me hyped for Manor Lords. Seeing some of the foundations set up when you're building a building really reminds me of uh, of that. I'm I'm excited. Ixion playthrough was really fun. Yeah, I I enjoyed going back to it as well. Actually, that reminds me. I think we already did our giveaway for Ixion, but uh, today let's do a giveaway. I'm going to. Uh, I have a big list of keys that I'm going to give to my moderators in the Discord today. So everybody watching, jump on our Discord. Uh, you should be able to find it in the YouTube 
description or on uh, or just type exclamation point discord in any of the chats join the discord i'm going to have the uh, moderators drop off a couple keys they'll they'll like type in the name of the game and then drop a key for it one letter or one number will be missing from the key so that way everybody has a chance to kind of randomly guess and that way it just it just is easier there are ways and other things to do for giveaways but one of the things that seems to happen for us with giveaways is that I'll say like, okay, we're going to do the giveaway now. And then everyone enters the giveaway. And then like five minutes later, I'm like, all right, time to do the giveaway. And then we'll have two or three people who get called for the giveaway. And then they're not even here. So people, <laughs> people will enter a giveaway and then immediately run away from their computer. They're like, they'll get in a taxi, go across town, go to the airport and fly to like Havana and have like an exp espresso and then spend two or three weeks there and then come back to the chat. And it's like, dude, where were you? You won. Like I, I don't I don't get it. People will enter a giveaway, then flee. I don't I don't know why people do that. So usually what will happen is we'll have to pick a winner four or five times, and that takes like fifteen minutes per person. So it's like all right, enough of that. If you want something, go to our Discord. That's where we're gonna drop it, and then you guys can get it whenever whenever it's there. Some people are just like that. I don't know. They think it's like a raffle. You're supposed to hunt them down. Yeah, we, we send out a guy to like pair drop onto their house and like knock on their roof. Hey, you won. <laughs> like you only had to wait five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, well. Are we building Raptoria? Yeah, we're building some clothing actually right now to turn in for a quest. And I've got some other people going around gathering materials and stuff. Looks like they're picking up. Oh, wow. Can we actually see that guy carrying stuff? What's he carrying? Oh, he's like carrying berries back. I think he's going out and picking berries for us. Sweet. We need those. I like the concept of this game, though, being a... Uh, oops, don't want to do that. I like the idea of this game being like a medieval dynasty with how some things work, but it being focused more on like uh, clearing out bandits and stuff. It kind of reminds me of um, a couple of the games we played, like... Uh, what was it called? Freeman Guerrilla Warfare or whatever. Yeah, some, you know, those games, like, where you just have to clear out bandit camps and stuff, and, uh, I mean, even you do that, and, like, kind of reminds me a little bit of Banner Lords in a way, where it's, like, it's not exactly like Banner Lords, but in a way where, you know, like, at Banner Lords, when you, you go into the battle and you have a bunch of troops with you and you can kind of command them, the warfare works like this, too. We saw last night, you know, you can recruit your companions, tell them to charge or hold the line. There is a little bit of military tactics in here, so I'm glad it's not just us doing everything, and I'm glad it's not just like, um, you know, like a world map that we wander around. It's actually like an open world that we can literally explore, which is cool. Additionally, it kind of reminds me of uh, this land is my land or whatever, or whatever that one game was with the native tribes, and then you get to build multiple tribe uh, settlements or camps. And then you get to build up your forces that way, too, and command your, your troops. And give them guns and stuff. That's pretty cool, too. Yeah, this is a little less focused on survival, yeah. I mean, you don't even really have... Technically, you don't even have to eat in this game. But it's like Valheim, where, like, eating gives you a bonus. Like, in Valheim, if you're just at your base, you could just kind of, like... If, if you're well defended, you don't have to worry about ever being attacked. And you don't have to eat. But then the moment you leave and you're go, going to go fight a boss, then you should probably drink something, eat a couple of different foods. Mm-hmm. Maybe hunting's hard because your archery skill is low. Well, you know, a good example of the archery yesterday was I was standing on this hill, and I was shooting at a wolf that was standing in a river, and I couldn't kill the damn wolf. So we went down to the river to kill the wolf with, like, a melee weapon, and I realized that there was about like eight to ten arrows like stuck above the wolf's head. So it looks like I had landed all the shots, but the wolf was taking no damage and it didn't look like the uh, any of the arrows actually hit the wolf. So I've been trying to kill deer in order to get hides, but the arrows apparently are not modeled, so I can't see where the arrows are going. And so I can't really I can't really like shoot good because I can't see what I'm doing. You may as well be, like, shooting with your eyes closed. Or it's like trying to zero a rifle uh, without, like, looking at the target to see where you've hit. You know what I mean? It, it's kind of hard to do. 
And the uh, the deer range is very... Uh, like, the deer can see you from a very far way away. So you've got to land, like, a very long distance shot. And also, um, you have to hit them twice. So, like, I think we need a better bow to do a one-and-done shot, even if it's a headshot. Hell, I've shot a dude head uh, point blank in the head. And, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I heard of Age of Water. Wasn't Age of Water... I thought Age of Water was that, um... I thought that was that, like, Gaijin game that was supposed to be, like, Waterworld and Cross Out, but on the water. Wait, where are we going to turn this in? Oh, this guy up here, okay. Anyway, I'll put it on my list. Also, again, you guys have been sending me uh, DMs about games I should check out. Keep doing that. I have taken a big list on the Discord from you guys. And, uh... Keep it up. Finding a lot of new games for you guys. Hope this guy didn't go to bed. Uh... Is that him right there? Yes, sir. Oh, this Either dude. Be careful, lad. It's getting cold around here. Don't try anything stupid. Beware the bandits on the roads, my friend. You'll want to arm yourself before you venture out. Uh, here you go. Have you got those rugged shirts? I want to send my caravan as soon as possible. Yeah, it's the Gaijin Subnautica game. Okay. I thought it was like Waterworld with Kevin Costner. Microsoft Solitaire looks fun. Good idea. Uh, let's see. Strength or crafting? Uh, give me strength. I can give it to our people. Nice. Quest complete. Cool. Alright, so then we can give those books to our people and then they should be able to hold shields now. Hopefully. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Yeah, the mer the merch link. We do we do have ourselves some rugged shirts in there. That's for sure. You know, actually, I think Age of Water contacted me, and they were like, "Hey, do you want to check out our game?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll check out a a game and see what it's like." I mean, no harm in that. I think most people for themselves can judge whether or not they like a game as they're watching it. I just I just want to play something new and then they never they never followed up with me. So I, I guess the age of water is over. It's all about sand. It's all about dune. Maurice, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships for chat, dude. Thank you very much for the support. Gift bus, gift boats in the chat. Oh, I think it, yeah, it's raining. All right, cool. Another quest complete. Let's, uh, what can we do next? Make a hoe and a shovel, rope, hide, and log. That one we should be able to do if I can kill one more deer. And then I got to kill three deers. And I got to talk to this elder. That seems like an easy one. Where is he? Padstow. Okay. All right. So I should be able to give the book to... They're in bed. Great. What's my strength level? I'm level one. How do you go about that? Make a game developer reach out to you? Oh, uh... I don't know. I've been around a while and got a bunch of subs, so, you know, 
I think one thing they do is they just find whoever's got a lot of subs, put you on a list, and then put you on a mailing list, and then start emailing you. You went to uh, Europe and Belgium. How did you like the beers? That was good. I think I liked the Czech beer the most, but uh, Belgian beer was great. I had Belgian waffles, too. I had a Belgian waffle burger, which my friend in Belgium, Elmox, said, like, dude, you have to try this. And I'm like, all right, I'll try it. And he was right. It was good. And, uh... But I had, I had some really good food in Belgium. Like some nice stews and things like that. It was great. Czech beer is the best. Least headache as well. Yeah, it was just it was velvety smooth. It was very nice and good food to pair it with. Maybe that's why it was the best. Because it, it was good food to have with beer. Okay, uh, let's see. Can I give you guys these books? So this guy's attributes are negative three strength. Why? How do you have negative strength? What What's causing that? Anyway, here, take this book of strength. I don't know how to make him read that book, though. Like, if I give him this book and put it in his inventory and right-click use, I don't know how to make him read that so his strength goes up. I feel like when this game comes out, I should make a little guide on how to... This guy's got zero strength. Can I put it in... Nope. Maybe when they go to bed. I did hear something about books in bed. Oh, another th thing we should start doing is making fast travel points, too. However, I think one thing I don't want to do in this game is fast travel too much, because when we run through an area, it's a good idea to gather, like, sticks and stuff while we're running around. Actually, we should make some more arrows. Do you have to cook for your people? Um, no. If your people get hungry, they'll go out and forage for themselves and gather berries and stuff. And we got a lot of berry bushes around the camp, so they'll just... Instead of having somebody gather a bunch of berries and throw it in storage and then it spoil, we just have our people go out and get food whenever they're hungry. Um, but eventually we should be able to cook better meals that last longer. Right now, uh, like cooked meat lasts like two days. So it, it doesn't really last that long at all. I mean, if I took... A whole day to gather a bunch of meat, it would be, like, most of it would be gone. Uh, we want arrows. So I think that's reed and sticks. We need one of those. Wait. Are we out of sticks again? I'm convinced that our people are continuously uh, putting sticks on the fire. And they're not cooking food. And I've only got four arrows left, so yeah, we need more. I don't want to leave camp unprepared. I think we just need five. Be able to get that from a young tree? Yeah, there we go. Damn it. Okay. I think it's five and one. Yeah, we can have a companion follow us and, like, defend us and stuff. Yeah, trees will regrow every year, I think. Everything that you cut down and all the flowers and stuff that you pick will regrow at the next year. Oh, I need three river reed. So if you go around and pick all the flowers, they'll be back the next year. I think some things you can't farm and you have to forage for, which is cool. Which means the forager will always be relevant. Like, you can't just, like, have a mushroom farm. You'll have to just make a mushroom... Uh, You have to make a forager and have them go out and get mushrooms. You won't. You can't make a farm. It's cool. Uh, Farthest Frontier, we had a stream on recently. There's a new update out, and it's coming out this year. I think Farthest Frontier will come out this summer. And so because of that, we have... Um, 
There's a new big military update for Farthest Frontier, and I think this is their last update before the game releases. So there's catapults, there's cavalry, there's horses, there's goats, there's um, chickens, there's a rework to how military works. So now you can have light infantry, heavy infantry, cavalry, archers, uh, lots of new stuff. And um, it just updated like a couple days ago. And the developers of Farthest Frontier have also sent over some keys for me to give away. So um, we'll, be, we'll be doing some Farthest Frontier giveaways. So exclamation point Discord. That game, by the way, if you're excited for Manor Lords, Farthest Frontier is a really good game uh, to watch in between, I think. I think more people will prefer Manor Lords, but that doesn't mean Farthest Frontier is not an amazing game. Farthest Frontier is probably one of my favorite games that i played in the last, or at least where I've invested an incredible amount of time in the last, like, two or three years. All right, let's go to Padstow now. And maybe we'll build a fast travel marker over there, too. Which is just, like, a log, a stick, and some stones. That's exciting, yeah. Yeah, Farthest Frontier is really cool. My favorite thing is probably the farming, by far. Oh, and they've added new crops, too. They've added hay that you can now grow for the uh, the cattle and the goats and stuff. Which is neat, because then you can... Um, then that means you have more grain for beer and for, uh, and for uh, bread. You can still feed them uh, grain if you want to, but... Having hay to feed your animals means that you don't have to take your food supply and divert it to your animals anymore. Also, I think they've uh, changed how cows work a little bit. They've made it so that way milk will constantly produce throughout the year rather than just getting one huge, like, delivery of it. So you can, it's a much easier way to make cheese throughout the year. So from the spring until autumn, that's, I think, when the cows will make the most amount of milk until they go into the barns. And they'll continuously still make milk, but you could make a lot of cheese before winter. Now, I know how chat feels about cheese. They watch my gameplay. <laughs> they love my cheese. A lot of people like Gear cheese, but nah. That Raptorian cheese is, is strong. Is this a bandit or a wolf? A boar. Eh, I'm going to ignore that and try to go to the river. Dude, look at this. There's so many animals around. I think the problem with these animals, too, is that they respawn. Like, I could kill the wolf and the boars, but they're going to just keep coming. Maybe I can get a headshot on this guy. I don't think I'll be able to sneak past him. Yeah, cheesy pancakes, exactly. Yeah, the seasonal change in Farthest Frontier is gorgeous. I like how it looks in City Skylines, too. I mean, you know. Say what you want about City Skylines. It still looks pretty when it changes seasons. Another one we're going to have to play again, too, is Sengoku. I think they've also sent over some keys, too. Sengoku is Medieval Dynasty, but Japan. Um, and they've done some big farming updates and whatnot. And I'd like to play with uh, the boys again. Also, in dude, there's so many survival games that have updates. It's crazy. Like, Valheim's got updates. V Rising's coming out. If you like open world survival games, there's just not there's just not enough time. Like Valheim, V Rising, Shrouded, Grounded's got updates. This is not enough time. Bum, 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 bum. Goats. Well, I like how this game has uh, quests like Medieval Dynasty, but they are a little different. Medieval Dynasty, it's, it's more on production. So it'll be like, uh, I don't know, I've had a tough year and my sheep were killed by wolves. Can you give me like f uh, five wool cloth? Ma'am? Okay. Oh. Huh, welcome, traveler. What brings you to our humble village? I was sent by a fisherman. Oh, that must be Paul. I've never known a person more passionate about fishing. Kitty. Well, 
I've had my fair share of success with the rod and reel, especially in my younger days. But these days I'm more concerned with keeping this village together. He mentioned a special bait you use. Could you share it with me, please? I can't just hand over this secret. It's a family recipe, so to speak. Meth. But I can give you a sample of it. Oh. It should be enough to catch that golden trout. But not for free. Of course. How about a trade? Help our village and I'll help you. Here's what I'd like. Yeah, what do you want? Bring me five smoked meats. Our village's supplies are starting to get low, and we need to refill them. Smoked meats? Oh, no. Um, that means we're going to have to build a smoker, because I think if we cook food, it's just cooked food, not smoked. All right. Work peasants, there's no time to lose. Well, that sucks. Um, what we can do is just do a bunch of trapping for this. We can get the meat by trapping, and then I could figure out how to smoke meat. Let's see if it's in the tech tree. Where's that tech tree? Uh, let's see. Anything you can spare, kind soul? Oh boy. Campfire leads to Ah, there. We got to build the forging camp, then we can build the smoking rack campfire. Okay, so let's go finish our forger. And let's build a fast travel point here at this town so we can teleport back and forth. Although, we could walk back and just gather a bunch of sticks on the way, which is what the forger needs. But let's do both. We'll build the fast travel point, and then we'll walk back so I can gather material. There's our forging camp. We just got to build it. Nah, I'm not going to chase damn deer. I think it's a little unfair. Even Sengoku had like a... There was a task in San, uh, Sengoku to like hunt rabbits. And the rabbits were just so fast. Like, Dirty... Our, our friend Dirty, it, it, he's probably one of the greatest shots in video game history. This dude... And I'm not exaggerating. Like, he's a genius with like shooting bow and arrow and... Uh, you know, like g guns and stuff like that in game. And... Uh, he could he couldn't even do it but luckily they made it easier okay so we want to build a fast travel point and i think we have to build it out of town of course i don't want to build it where all the boar and bear are uh Maybe we'll build it over here by this herbalist hut. Let's do that. I think we gotta wait until the bottom of that sign turns white. Yeah, making your own fast travel point thing is pretty cool. Uh, and then the only trade-off for that is that you can only go from fast travel point to fast travel point. So you got to build them. Must be built near the road. Oh, there we go. I'll build it, like, right here. So you, you have to build a, fa a fast travel point near the road. How far, far away are we? Let's see how close I can get. <laughs> we can just put it in the middle of the road. I'll put it right here by these rocks. Oh, too close to the town now. There we go. Okay, so it requires uh, stone. Two more wood. Crude stone and two logs. Let's go cut down some trees.
trees are a little glitchy. That one, anyway. That that type of tree is a little weird, yeah. It, like, starts to fall, then it changes its mind, and then it's like, nah, whatever, alright. I give up. The tree surrenders. Oh, you want me to turn on... Okay, alright. While we play this, let's listen to Medieval Dynasties, uh... Or no, let's listen to, uh, Manderlord's soundtrack. Let's listen to all of Manor Lord's soundtrack while we play. There. Okay, guys, welcome to Manor Lord's. We're playing Manor Lord's early. Or maybe I have played Manor Lords early and I just can't show you it. Kingmaker's trailer videos on the channel. over there. Ooh, two of them. No, thank you. Look at that guy hauling ass. He knows the wolves are around. Run, bro! The hell out of here. There's wolves. Okay, now I need two stones. Is that a bandit? Oh, there's like two bandits coming down the road. Oh. What the f Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, I didn't know that was going to happen. Dude, the arrows are so slow. No wonder you... That's the biggest problem with the arrows, is that they take six months to hit their target. Look at that. Hold on, bro. I gotta heal up. Uh, okay, we're healing. I think. There we go. Okay, we're doing military strategy. Okay. Ah! Took an arrow to the knee. Okay. Sir? The hell? What happened to the light? Don't try anything stupid. Bad. Bad bandit. Oh, he had 30 arrows on him. Damn. Alright. Sweet. That was a good hole. All right. Where's the other guy? Wrap rope and a bandage. Cool. All right, then. Area secure, ma'am. Have a good day. <laughs> All right, let's go find some rocks. That's cool. I didn't know bandits would kind of randomly uh, wander around. Okay, so that is the biggest problem in this game with the arrows. It, it's not the um, the drop of the arrows. It takes forever for an arrow to travel. So if I shoot a deer, it's got to be literally like four seconds at maximum range to hit the deer. So it's like one, two, three, four. That's a long time for an arrow to travel. I think they came from over there. Anyway, we gotta find a couple sticks and then we'll fast travel home. 
build that forager. Any stones? There we go. Alright, we'll head on back. Yeah, there's castle building, yeah. I have no idea how we're going to get to that level. Or rather, how much time that's going to take. At least one. Good morning, Beyond Pete. Okay, so crude stone's done. Nice. And now we should be able to fast travel home. Oh, that's cool. All right, then. Well, before we go to bed, I'm going to look around for some sticks and stuff. Can you conquer? I... We can become friends with all these other villages like we can gain their trust and I th eventually the goal is to basically it, it's kind of like Robin Hood we're in a region where people are oppressed they're overtaxed they're angry uh, the king is insane and so what we're going to try to do is to try to get people to we're going to build these villages up so they have enough strength to like overthrow the king And so I, I think that's where the word bellright comes from, is that, uh, you know, like we're supposed to be like a liberty bell for people. There's also like these old coins, and I'm sure it goes deeper than that, but to me it's like, okay, we're here to basically liberate all these villages by doing tasks for them. And there's bandits everywhere, so... We want to do good deeds for the good people. Kill bandits and raiders. Help with trade and commerce. I think we actually have enough renown now to uh, recruit another villager too. Okay. That was cool that we got a bunch of arrows. And I'll keep these sticks on me. Oh, it's snowing again. Actually... I wonder if it'll tell us what the recipe is from here. No. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, there's a bag we can make. I don't know if we have the materials to research it yet. We've been busy dealing with uh, multiple raids. I'm in a little little concerned with not dying. But that hasn't happened in a while. Knock on wood. Let's see. I may have researched the bag already. Nope. Oh, it's seventy five percent researched. We need linen. Don't know if I have that yet. We might be able to go buy linen. Can 
I don't know. The linen we had, we either used or it was stolen. Okay, that's good enough. I'm going to run over to the forger and see if we can build it. And then we can get that smoking rack going. You think we'd get a smoking rack if we first built like a hunting camp? So you could smoke meats with that, but you know, whatever. Bum, bum, bum. Is linen something we can weave? Uh, maybe. Yeah, we get raided a lot, yeah. I don't know what... Uh, the, the game calculates certain things to determine whether or not you'll be raided. But I think you can lower the rate in which you get raided by clearing bandit camps around so they can't do that. Oh, okay, we just need six logs. Cool. Alright, so we're going to have to cut down a lot of trees tomorrow. I'm going to put these sticks in my personal storage. I don't, I don't trust our camp. I think they keep stealing my sticks. This is how much I don't trust my fellow survivors. It's like, who stole my stick? It's like, dude, there's sticks everywhere. Just go get one. Dude, who stole... This is my favorite one. Where is it? Huh. Yeah, if we weave linen, it's probably from flax. But we might have to research it first. Some of the research recipes are weird. Like, to research linen, which is basically a cloth made from flax, it's like, oh, dude, I'm going to need a carrot... Uh, two paper clips and a VHS tape. And it's like, what the hell? And then the crafting recipe for it is completely different. Then the crafting recipe is like, oh yeah, just one flax. All right, we can make thatch. There's linen. Oh, that takes flax and river reed, but requires crafting too. So, we're, so I can't make linen because we're not crafting level two, unless we have a book we can read tonight. Um, farming crafting beginner book. Oh, that's level three. What level are we? We are crafting level one. Holy hell. Yeah, the forging camp is a like an outpost where NPCs go to work. Yeah. Yeah, each of the, think of it like an RTS or um, like a city builder, where like if in Banished you build like a I don't know a, a wood chopping post that people will go there to chop wood, and then you can assign an NPC to do it. Hmm. I guess we could craft more stuff to get our level up, but uh, we're at like 100 and we need 1,200. And all the stuff we've crafted, uh, we're going to need a book. Unless I can ask one of our villagers to do it. Let's see. How do I check on our people? Alright, crafting is zero. Crafting two. Crafting two. Okay, so Quinn and Roysa could do it. Also, let me give her the book for crafting level three. Maybe she can get to level three. There you go, ma'am. 
Okay, and then let's see if we can give her the assignment for that. So... Select a recipe to add orders to your workers. Workers will automatically... Will be assigned automatically. Okay. So whoever's making these three linen should be able to take the materials they need from the storage box, bring it in there, and then start making the linen. So let's make crafting a little higher on her status bar. Make that a two. Oh, she's in bed already. All right, they went to bed. And then I want to go see if we can recruit more people now. But first I want to make sure she does her her task. Uh, but also I want to go build the forager thing. Alright, one thing at a time. Let's go uh, build the forager. We should start with that. I don't have much space. Select a recipe to add orders for your workers. Ah, there. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. So we can make it three like this. That reminds me of uh, Stranded Alien uh, Dawn for that. Okay. All right, so now we're making three linen. He'll come back and do that. So we'll make a bag after that. Or we have to research the bag. So let's go cut down some logs and make our forager now. Okay, so now we just got to cut down some trees. There we go. This music is good, man. This is the Manor Lord's music. I think we can only carry like two at a time. Okay, just four more. What am I thinking of Bellright? I'm thinking I want to play more and experience more of the game when it comes out. This playtest is good enough to get me interested in playing a little bit more. It's certainly uh, goofy and janky in many ways, but honestly, so was Medieval Dynasty, especially at the start. Do you guys remember? I don't know if a lot of you played Medieval Dynasty at the start, but do you guys remember when you could, like, the game was completely broken with, like, the economy? Like, I think you could pick up a stick and sell it for, like, two or three gold or something like that, or maybe it was even one. But basically, you could just go around and gather, like, a thousand sticks and then just get a thousand gold and, like, basically beeline through the game very quickly. Or you could make, like, crude axes and stuff. There was, there was a 
couple of ways to make some very simple things very early, very quickly, in large quantities, and you could basically beeline without really needing to do anything with the NPCs. But that game got better and is very fun, so I'm hoping the same for Bellrat. Also, I'd like to play this multiplayer. I feel like this is a game where I would like to play with a friend. I gotta get some other friends who are available during the days. Everybody I know is like only available at night. Which makes it hard because then there's too many people and not enough spaces sometimes. Mm, I don't know if we can get horses in this game. I haven't seen cavalry yet. Or horses. Uh, what else? Oh, looks like we're ready to build. Hey, there we go. Cool. All right, so now that unlocks. Well, now we have to research the smoking thing, and then we have to build it. So let's go back to base. Hey, we did it. Yeah, I heard you could fish in this game. Yeah, that's true. I played the Next Fest demo for this, and I, did, I didn't like this game at all. When I, when I first played this game, the demo, I was like, I went down a road and got immediately killed by a wolf, and I'm like, oh man, this is, this is bad. <laughs> but I knew what it was. Like, I knew it was going to be more medieval dynasty with combat, more focused on combat. That was good. All right, so now let's research that smoking thing. Oh, actually, let's put the linen in there. But he didn't make the linen. Bro, what the hell? I thought, I thought crafting was automatic. Don't tell me I have to go and, like, put the stuff in there for them. So each linen takes two and two. So I want three. So two, four, six. Okay. Will he do it now? Or maybe I should make the priority higher for him. You know what? What's interesting, it, it, it assigns somebody who has this as a lower priority. Oh, he's hungry. That's why. Hmm. Oh. Uh, this is going to be bad because it's winter and we probably can't find much food in the winter except for meat. So he's probably going to be hungry and wandering around for food and not work. So let's try... Smoking Rack Campfire. Oh, we can make that. Um, I think we have all those materials. Let's do... Wait. Need to find the hemp. Actually, I should put a bunch of stuff in here. 
We need one more stone. I'll put a bunch of sticks in there. Oh, there's three hemp. Damn. Alright. We'll need more hemp. No, we don't have to feed them. If, if we don't feed them and they get that hunger symbol like over their head, um, then they'll just wander off and go get food for themselves. But when they're going and looking for food, they're not working. But there's no real food because it's like winter. So I could go hunting. But as you guys have seen, did you guys see how long in our last stream, how long it took to cook meat? It like took half a day. Like if I went out and killed a, um, I don't know, a like, we probably have some rabbits here. If I cook these rabbits up... Oh, these traps are broken? Oh, well, we don't even have berries for bait. I wouldn't even be able to bait them in. Unless there's some meat up here. Let's check. Uh, yeah, I don't think berries grow in the winter. So everyone's just going to basically wander around hungry looking for food. For the winter months. Just like in Medieval Dynasty, it's hard to store food. Like, we can go out hunting and gather, like, you know, a thousand meat, but it's going to go bad, you know? Do you know what I mean? I think what they want us to do with the cooking, honestly, is to assign an NPC to do cooking all the time. So what I think they want us to do is to have one person working at the forger that we just completed, although there's nothing to forge because it's winter, and gather, like, a ton of berries, and then somebody else, like, cook them or roast them to increase the preservation time. But winter lasts, like, four days, and I think the best you can get right now out of food is three with the cooking. But that's why we're going to build the smoker. So I, I guess that's why we got the smokers, to actually smoke things like... Interestingly enough, the forger unlocks a smoker that could preserve meat for longer. But uh, while we wait, let's just cut down some logs. We, we'll be productive with our time. And we'll get some wood and other stuff. Can we build a root cellar? I don't know. There's, there's a lot of buildings on the tech tree. I haven't seen them all. Hey, what's up, Mario? Welcome, dude. Good to see you in the chat, man. Hope you're well. Actually, I, I guess there is fishing in the game because one of the quests right now is to literally... Uh, a guy wants to learn how to catch a golden trout or something like that. And this other guy has this secret bait, but he'll only tell us if we get five smoked meat. So there must be something to do with fishing in the game. I haven't seen it as a building, though. So I'm pretty sure we can only carry two. take up a lot of space. Well, we could research the trapper building to automate our traps, but we have nothing to bait them with at the moment. Like, we can have somebody do trapping, but we don't have stuff to bait them.
We're going to have to repair our axe. Let's do some repairs. I need a stone to repair our axe. the sticks there. I think stones might be up here. We'll check up this way. There we go. Let's go back and repair. Good. Good. Oh, is this Tavern ba Oh, it's Tavern Banger. Let's go. Hold on. Here we go. Hypes in the chat. Let's go. Party time. One of the best songs from Manor Lords, dude. Absolute banger. Oh, that's cool. The repair time is faster the less the damage. That's cool. Dude, the guy on the, the, the finger thimbles or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. I think that's the instrument. Dude's a hero. What else can we... Uh Anything else we could build? Well, let's see if we can finish the logging camp. It was kind of glitched and I couldn't build it. Let's go check on the logging camp. Otherwise, I would have built that by now. Go. Can you shoot birds in the sky? I think so. Oh, damn. Did we finish it? Oh, it got built, actually. All right. Select a resource to add orders to your workers. Well, wooden log, please. Gather, like, four logs and ten sticks. And looks like somebody will be assigned here automatically. 
They'll probably work A when they have food or B when we have less than the materials in the in the list. All right, cool. So we actually have a freaking logging camp up now. I couldn't finish it yesterday. Meantime, I'm going to do this manually. Well, I, so I checked that logging camp the other day. In our in our last stream, I checked it because I delivered the material, and it wouldn't let me build it. And I walked past it too to check on it, but it wasn't built. Maybe reloading the save. Maybe it was built and it didn't look built. And then when I reload the save, magically it worked. Because I wanted to do that a long time ago. Also, it looks like we have to go to each building in order to set the limits. Maybe. I don't think we can actually do uh, do it from before. I think we're going to need another box. Such good music. Yo, Sean, welcome back, dude. Good to see you in the chat, man. Okay, we need some more wood. And flax. Man, do we love that tavern banger. Yeah, that, that was tavern banger. Non-lyrical. Two of those, and then I need more flax. We may be out of flax. Got a lot of seeds for it, though. Good, we got plenty. Uno mas. Hello, Charles. Hey, storage four is complete. All right, that'll give a little bit more room for the woodcutter to cut wood. Now that we can do that. Feels good. We got that stuff done. Looks nice. Check research. What are we building now? Smoking rack. So we need one more flax. One more hemp. No, two more. And another crude stone. Yeah, you can name all the buildings in the game. Yep. Yeah, you can change the name of even the buildings. So you can call it like... If the game calls it like small shelter, you can call it like... I don't know, hut or something if you want to. Yeah, the beta test ends in like two hours. But this is kind of more of like a closed creator, content creator access. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can name it Pizza Hut, yeah. How much wood could a woodcutter cut if a woodcutter could cut wood? Well, now that it can, it's going to create uh, four logs, four or five logs and four or five sticks if a woodcutter could cut wood. Yeah. You want them to allow stacking in inventory? Yeah, some things stack, like flowers and herbs do, but not sticks. And you'd think if it shows a pile of sticks that at least maybe it should stack to five. We recently uh, went and checked on the uh, update for... Uh, Forever Skies and they changed how the inventory worked a lot in that game like so many things stack more I went in there and I was like oh my god my inventory is a mess how come I haven't stacked all these things but it was like oh because when I last played you could only stack to like you know 
five. Now they allow you to stack to like five, a ten or twenty. So I went in and like redid some of my inventory. Forever Skies is cool. I want man, that's another one I want to play more of, dude. But we'd have to kind of. I feel like the update for Forever Skies makes me want to do a complete restart because the stuff that they've added is all kind of at the beginning of the game and I don't know about you guys but sometimes it's just nice to have a clean start in a game especially a survival game if they add more stuff to the mid game or early game it's kind of nice to experience from the start rather than just building it while you're kind of towards the end game <laughs> plus I got infected with so many diseases I had like meningitis laryngitis uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking what do I think of the game and whatnot. Um, I've been having fun with this. There are some things that are certainly early access that are uh, frustrating because they're incomplete. Like uh, shooting the bow and arrows is just a nightmare for me. But uh, there's enough here to where I, I would like to play more. I like the whole village building and the uh, maintaining of NPCs. So I think we'll play more when we can. I'm thinking about going back to Forever Skies. I'm thinking about it. Win Zero Cybert? I think there's videos on the channel of that. You didn't want to get spoiled in this game? Well, you know, with early access games, they're not complete, so I, you know, sometimes it's hard to like for like an open world survival game. It's kind of hard to spoil stuff because it's like it's already been spoiled for us, right? We know what these games are. You get into the game and immediately you got to go gather a stick, some plant fibers and some stones and then make an axe and then you got to start cutting down tree. Like the the first, I don't know, 10 hours of a lot of these games are so similar, like subsistence and rust and it, maybe there's a different order to do things, but it's all the same. Get stick, get stone, get plant fiber, you know, make axe, cut down tree, build a house, you know, like Sons of the Forest. Like that was, Sons of the Forest was amazing because it was like nothing new at all and everything was new at the same time. Like, building a house in Sons of the Forest is so satisfying. But we've cut down a billion trees in, in the forest, you know what I mean? Like, we've built tons of stuff in the forest. But it was just all new in Sons of the Forest. Like, it was a different way to do it, and it felt so clean and good. Oh, other way around. That's another one we gotta go all the way through. Yeah, Sengoku had a new update. Yep, we were just mentioning that. It's a farming update. Well, let's go back into the forest over here. stones. I think stones are the hardest thing to come by now. Until I make a pickaxe. Yeah, that medieval dynasty multiplayer update with the new map made me want to 
play all that all over again too. Too many games, guys. Too many good games. Okay, let's hit the hay. More stone for the stone god. Winter again. Another thing that's weird about winter is it'll tell you how many days until winter, but I don't think there's a way to see what season you're in. Like how many days remain of it. Oh, this music's perfect for winter. Also, winter seems to be the best time to just build. Not, not much else to do. I don't even know if uh, enemies will attack in the winter. Medieval Dynasty gets fast boring, in my opinion. Uh... Yeah, I mean, if you don't really... If you're not feeling it, yeah. Some games you're just not feeling and, you know, that's okay. Medieval Dynasty captivated me, though, because of the, the building system was... You know, you know what would be really amazing? Would be a game that would be like The Forest, or Sons of the Forest, where you could build your own custom buildings for each thing, where... Like, you know how you could build a house in Sons of the Forest? Imagine if you weren't building a house, but, like, you were going to build a barn. So you build a building that's, like, you know, four wide and then, like, eight long or something like that. And then you get to put modules and stuff in there and you can build custom... You know, cu you build a custom building for, like, a barn. Or a custom building for, like, your food storage. That would be amazing. So imagine Sons of the Forest cutting down trees plus Medieval Dynasties, like, building. That would be amazing. Is there some kind of vehicle you can ride? Yeah, brother, I got my truck parked around the corner over by this tree. No, it's Medieval Times. I, I don't even think we get horses yet in the game. They'll probably add them later. Medieval Dynasty didn't have horses for the longest time. Oh, yeah, I find that annoying, too. Yeah, the medieval dynasty thing where you got to buy schematics is a little annoying, yeah. There's a few things in that game that are kind of uh, there, I think, to just add extra time, extra steps to doing stuff, and that's annoying. But I will say I like the game, and I, I do wish I could play more of that. I wish, for example, our good friend Uthras had more time to play games so that we could play specifically that one with us. That'd be amazing. You know what we could do? We could try to put these in here. Ah, there we go. We could store stuff in the workbench. Perfect. Big brain emote. Okay, so we gotta wait till spring to get more hemp. Is there any quest we can do now? I guess the only thing we could do is maybe kill a deer, but that's not gonna happen. I just need to kill one more deer. How do we get a hoe and a shovel? There. Build the forge and camp. Oh, now we got to build the mining camp? No, we got to build the mud collector and shovel. And then we can make the hoe. Okay. But let me guess, we got to research the mud collector. Yep. 
Four reed, ten crude stone, four logs. We could do that. We can make that. So four of these. I just like to put the stuff in here automatically for the AI because I just don't trust them. Four logs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uthris in uh, Open TTD. We were doing the yacht races. Open TTD is an outstanding game. If you guys are looking for something... If you don't really have a lot of PC power, maybe you're more of a console gamer, but you wish you played more on PC, and maybe you like uh, like transportation games, Open TTD is a wild ride, man. It looks like you're playing SimCity 2000, uh, and that's a beautiful thing. So, I think too many people have, like, missed out on, um, you know, judging a game by graphics, and they missed out on how damn cool that game is. And how many mods there are. And it's free. And it, everybody can play it, so. We always like it when you guys join us for that. Okay, we gotta get somebody on research here. Roy says researching? Where is she at? Oh, probably on break, because she's hungry. Yep, everybody hungry. So nobody's going to be working. We have we have no food. That's one of the first things I think we should do in the game then when we play next time is try to just crazily gather tons of berries, make a fire, start roasting some of them and then bait a bunch of traps and then start roasting that too. At least the camp the campfire is the only thing that we can walk away from that's automatic. Everything else we have to stay at the station. So, like, if we cut down a bunch of trees and want to turn them into wood, we got to, like, stay at the wood shopping station. It doesn't work automatically. It's not like the damn rumor requirement from Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Garrett. Yeah, this game has elements of Banner Lords in it with the combat a little bit, like with, you know, telling your people to charge or hold the line. Like whenever I whenever I saw the raiders coming at my uh, my companions, it reminded me of some of the smaller skirmishes at the beginning of Banner Lords when you just have a few u units. So it's it's fun, just to see the AI just. Spamming like the swing button at each other, just rah. Yeah, another little. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna do another little PSA for chat. Thank you for reminding me on this too. Uh, chat, this game is two dollars. Check this out. Evil Genius Two is two dollars. You get yourself two hundred pennies and you own this game. Look at this, dollar dollar ninety nine, one percent off. Uh, sorry, 95% uh, off. One penny off from two bucks. Game's fun. It's got mixed reviews, but I played this when it came out in, what, 2021? I had so much fun building a base and stuff in this game. This game's ridiculous. If you like Two Point Hospital or Two Point Campus or any, like, management game, I mean, for $2, dude, I mean, it's just fun. I enjoyed the hell out of this. I don't know why it's got mixed reviews, but I liked it. And the original is great, too. That was fun to watch. I know. I loved it. I loved being all the different villains. I think we beat that game maybe... Like... I think there were like four villains. We beat it like three and a half times. Like, we, I tried to beat it with every villain in the game, and then I think I just ran out of time and had to go play some other stuff, but I liked it. Does this game have an isometric perspective? 
No, but that would be kind of cool, though. Uh, in the trailer for this game, they do show kind of like a top-down or like a distant view of a camp being built. But um, it's all third-person, I think. But it is co-op. But for this game, I'd say definitely check Steam for more details because I don't know everything and it's early access, so obviously that stuff has changed. So if you're watching the stream, like, you know, two months after the game has come out or something, like, you know, remember, early access stuff changes all the time. I'm just going to put some more logs in here. Oh, this can... Wow! The storage of the research desk has 100. These only have 50. So two boxes can store as much as the research desk. Okay, that's a little exploity. It seems like there's pretty easy ways to get around storage. Although I think the AI won't take from the... If you put stuff in the research desk, the AI probably won't take from that. Glasses are trippy. Thanks, man. They change colors whenever I'm having a good time. another log over here somewhere I really wish there was a tab on Steam called like super mega sale or something like that when it g like if Red Dead Redemption was on sale for 2 bucks or GTA like if some game that's usually like 39 49 59 bucks goes on sale like that that everyone should get an email even if you're not interested in the game can I do research no we have to na have an AI do it I think okay Or rather, I wish I had more time to do, like, PSA videos for you guys. But I feel like it'd be weird just to make, like, a... I don't know how I would do a YouTube video of just, like, guys. <laughs> it'd be, like, an eight-second video. Guys, Evil Genius is two bucks. Okay, bye. And that would be the video. And then people would be like, dude, you were paid to advertise, dude. People would complain. Dude, how much did they pay you to tell you that? It's like, I don't know. I was excited that the game was $2. Use shorts for those? Yeah, but nobody sees shorts. Shorts are a very weird world. Wow, look at this big-ass tree. Damn. Sir? Well, sir, you walked in front of my axe. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Gallon. Lol. Alright, we've gathered a ton of wood. This is good. Anything we build, hopefully we have the materials for. 
Uh, what else can we build? We could go try to recruit somebody. Let's go up to the town and see if anybody wants to join us. Which is that away. Dino One Actuals inbound to the AO. Okay, so we want to recruit somebody. Let's see who wants to come along for the journey. Are you new in town? It's customary that you should greet the elder. Uh, I think we're looking for somebody in like a white... White clothing? Oh yeah, like these people. Are you new in town? Wait. Kitty. Let's talk. Spare a coin and I will pray for you. We're going to find somebody with some skill. You there. Sorry, I'm busy. Go find the village elder. He should be able to help you. Ooh. Oh, look at this guy. 2 out of 4 harvesting, farming. He's also good at being a laborer. Archery, three out of four. Ooh. You're in, bro. All right, we got a new guy. Okay, we got a new settler, so now we're up to what? Five people, including ourselves? Kitty. Do you have a quest? Yes. I have a task for you <gasps> if you want to earn some money. Yes, give me a quest, sir. Go on. One trader gave me an extremely well-priced order. Mm -hmm. He wants weapons. But due to the tight schedule, I can't manage to get all the iron by myself. That's where you come in. I will give you part of my payment up front if you bring me weapons from this list. Oh, okay. Do you know this merchant? I don't. But even if it's a bandit in disguise from the royal bastards, at least they're at war with the brigands. Those outlaws aren't ordering weapons just to harass us villagers. So it is a win-win situation for the lowlands. Yeah, we found Legolas. Okay, what does this guy want us to bring? Five simple axes. That's all you want, dude? Oh my god. Those peasants should be more grateful. That's an easy order. Five axes. Yes. Young pup. Say, could you give me a hand with something? Unfortunately, my apprentice moved to Padstow to work with another carpenter and took my best tools on his way out. That disloyal little bug. Do you need even more axes? So I'm on my own and need some help with a few bits and bobs. Who is Bob? Lord Ashbourne's Thorwin a solstice feast for his closest commanders, and he ordered a selection of intricately designed wooden chairs. Which is my speciality, don't you know? Oh. Unfortunately, the letter with the order was mistakenly sent to Marrick, the carpenter from Padstow. Bit of a hack, that lad. Won't end well for anyone if he's making those chairs to Ashbourne. Could you grab the letter off him and bring it back to me so I can do the chairs right? Oh, and I need new tools. Good ones. But Sambor the toolmaker is a master. He'll have the best replacements. Okay. The big order. 
Oh, go talk to the carpenter. Okay, let's do that real quick. Is he nearby? Or is he in the other town? Oh, he's in the other town. Okay, let's go home and make some axes first. So we got to make five axes and then bring them back to that guy. And then we got to start working with the blacksmith. That's cool. That could open up some deals with the blacksmith. Tempt them with cookies. Mm. Could be a good way to get people to join us. <laughs> yeah, five simple axes and then an EX045 uh, Patriot. Brother. Brother, I'm going to need five simple axes, and if you could get me a Tomahawk cruise missile launched from a Los Angeles class uh, attack sub, that'd be great. Thanks. Small order. Simple. Simple, small. It's like asking someone to pass the salt. Hey, oh, hey, real quick. All right, um, so we want to make five simple axes, so six wood, two stone per. Good thing I went out and gathered all that crap. I'll just gather everything, see what we got. Nice. So again, I'd have our people do this, but you know, they're all on like a hunger strike. So we'll do it ourselves. Was it five? Oh, this won't take too long. What am I going to deal with the blacksmith? Huh? Oh, Rob, Rob stopped following me and is searching for food. I, f I forgot. He's now living at the at our camp. We'll decide about the first day of spring. So now we can get somebody. So what do we got? Um, I think four people in the camp. So we can get a, a logger, a forger, a chef, and a researcher. So that'll be good. Is this game new? It is, yep. It's not, uh, it's not even out yet. This is just a creator, content creator play test. Yeah, he says he can't find the iron. So then he asked me to make simple axes, which are made out of stone. Go figure. Wow. <laughs> All right, what are we missing? Uh, just some more wood. I think everybody at the village went to bed, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow. I like this music. We gotta play more Traveler's Rest, too. I like that game. 
Okay, we need a few more sticks. I think we need six, so I think we're good. up shoot looter when's this out not sure um there's a coming early access version of the game but um i think we'll all have to check the steam store page for more details mm. yeah one more axe Oh wait, we need more crude stone now. One. Well, good thing I went and gathered all that stone. Really. I think we'll have to go back up this way. All right, let's gather more stone. Oh, that's a good start. You can't see any date info on Steam. Yeah, I think when there is info, they'll post it on Steam as like a news post or something. I think that's probably the two best locations to get information is either follow, you know, check check a game's Steam store page and then follow the devs on Twitter. And then of course there's always Discords too, but I feel like Discords are just um, lots of chatter. Although they will on occasion have like an They'll have like a news thing, but then it'll just be basically a copy and paste of what they typically put out on Steam for like patch notes for a game. Like if a game gets a big O free update, they'll usually, you know, put that on Discord and Steam at the same time. <laughs> you quit playing Power Wash Sim, too much pressure. That's funny right there. That That's a good joke. Oh, did we pick up tin? Oh, we did. Okay. Whatever. Cool. Uh, the guy that we're supposed to turn this into probably is asleep, so let's just go to bed and we'll turn it in tomorrow. Brother, yeah. Day 26. Uh, let's make a fast travel point up by this village, too. Actually... I don't... Mm, I don't know if it's worth it, because it's not even that far. Because we can't have a fast travel point too close to a village. I basically built our village about as close as to this village as we could, where the nearest flat land was. So, whatever.
Where's this guy? We are keeping the peace here in the name of Lord Ashbourne. Oh, how much I would give for leftovers from the Lord's Feast. There we go, that's the guy. Dude was like uh, evading me. I was trying to watch in the minimap where he was going. Hail, hello. What's up, bruh? So do you have those weapons? Yes. Finally, start working on this order. Ooh. Uh crafting one handed or two handed. Uh give me one handed. Wow, 400 coin? Holy hell. Wait a minute. Didn't we have like 300 coin? And now we're only up to 517? What the hell else did I spend coin on? I didn't buy anything, did I? Yes. Aye. There is one thing, mate. I'm working on a caravan with Marek Tholi, a lad from Padstow to improve the trade routes between our two villages. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to hear. Here's what you need to do. Get me three rugged shirts. Three rugged shirts now. He promised to deliver some caravan parts, but there's been some delays and I haven't heard from him. Okay. Is he in danger? I'm sure the lad is all right. The problem is, he should have delivered caravan parts yesterday, and I'm curious about what's causing the delay. All right. Oh, now we're going to make three rugged shirts, which is even more hemp. Although it'll be easier this time, because now we... Um, now we have people to help with hemp. Yeah, I bought the quiver, but at the start of the stream, I thought I had like 317 bucks. Because, like, I'd completed missions between then, didn't I? Keeping the peace here in the name of Lord. All right, let's do a live recap. Let me jump back a little bit and check. Yeah, a little while ago I had 317 coin. So 300 plus 400 is not 517. At the start of the stream. Weird. <laughs> Someone has raided my coin purse. I don't know. Work, peasants. There's no time to lose. Yeah, we still need a bag. I was getting somebody to work on linen, but remember it's winter, so they're hungry. And we don't have any food. I could go buy food, but after that I don't trust the money. Well, and, and of course it's the type of thing where it's like, Oh, you want to buy a stick? That's 100 gold. Oh, you have a stick? I'll give you... Here, go get some pliers. I need to cut this coin into fourths. I'll give you one-fourth of a coin. All right, let's do... Or we could go uh, raid that raider camp. A hoe and a shovel. Um, we could probably do that first because we just need to research that and easily build that. But we need to wait till spring, otherwise we can't do research. Hide, I gotta get a deer. More deer. Smoked meat. We gotta wait for food for trapping. Is cold an issue in this game? Not that I've seen at the moment, but there is... We can equip our character with, like, winter gear. I think a few things are not finished yet, though. 
Like, I think they'll be adding more to food and hunger and more to cold and stuff like that. I think winter will be more of a... It'll be more of a danger rather than an inconvenience. Okay, well... I can't really make those clothes. Bring one caravan part quest item. I have to get that from someone else? Oh yeah. The dude in Padstow. Okay. What's up, Donna, you? I'll go out looking for sticks and stones. Yeah, we've been reading some books, but the books that we have at the moment are too high level for our current level. In the trailer for this game, I've seen castle building and iron armor. We'll see. Uh, I think villagers will eventually leave if they don't have certain needs met. Yeah, m maybe if their house gets destroyed or something. Right now, because the game's early access and things aren't finished, they could have made it pretty simplified. Because there is there is a statistics to ch there there are statistics for checking out if people are happy or not, but usually they're pretty neutral. But I think maybe in the future it'll be more complex. But we'll have to we'll have to check the store page and and just keep watching the early access development to see what happens. We'll have to keep our eye on things. We'll follow its development. <laughs> what about diamond armor? Yes. Well, we don't want to dig straight down to get that. What's up, Lord Sully Kane? Drop it off loot. Reading one handed book. Okay. We'll get our one handed combat up a little bit. Finally, a book we can read.
Oh, I got a bunch of coins to turn in, too, for... Renown. Free log. Good, good. All right, RTB. I know, our characters can read. E even the peasants can read, like, because we can hand them books to train on stuff, so at least everybody can read. That's good. That's a big, uh, big advance for our, uh, our colony. Just a game mechanic applies to everybody. Good. Okay, we'll research that next. Yeah, attributes grow, uh, go up. It looks like the best way to do it is by getting books. And books are usually given by completing quests, but I'm sure there'll be a way to get them in the future. You can all also get XP by doing things, but it's little in comparison to books. Die trees. Hopefully this is the last day of winter. Good 
bandit camp there. What's this game? It's the first word in the title. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tavern banger with lyrics, let's go! It's spring. Tavern banger hype. Stellar Blade, isn't that the one with the lady? Man, how good. 
Yeah, I don't know if uh, materials transfer themselves from the from the building. We'll see. We're starting to do automation for the first time now, and I'm going to go get some food so our people will keep working. So I'm going to go look for berries and work on our traps. I know we already have a forager, but I... Look, yeah, it looks like we're already gathering mushrooms and stuff. So we'll probably get back to camp and roast some mushrooms. We're also going to be on the lookout for hemp now. So now it's finally spring. So now we can play the game. <laughs> now we can play the game again. So I'm going to gather sage, hemp. We need hemp so we can make the clothes. Sage, hemp, flax, and any berries. So now we're in forge mode. Hemp is kind of hard to find. make that bag too. Hopefully we get linen. Oh, you know what? Let's roast a bunch of marshmallows. These marshmallows should be good. <laughs> Especially around a campfire. Do they stack? No. Well, I'll need some sticks to roast those. Ooh, they are making my linen good. Yep, they made one linen. Now we need more hemp, though, for it. Oh, I need more hemp for that rugged clothing, too. We need everything. Actually, let's run over to that forager and tell them to gather everything. There we go. Okay. There's garlic in the game. Oh, they'll even... Oh, that's cool. The forging camp won't just gather plants, but it'll gr uh, gather anything on the surface. So if they find chunks of iron ore or tin sitting on the surface, copper, cranberries and stuff, they'll gather all that stuff. That's beautiful. Nice. So if you need some stones or something, this is the place to get it. Although I can't set minimums here. I wish I could set a priority. I, everything will be important though, food and select a resource to add your add orders for your workers. I mean, can I put something in there? No. Oh, I can click it there, I see. Okay, so let's add definitely hemp. Give me 10 of that all the time. River weed. 10 of that all the time. Berries. 10 of that all the time. Sage and flax I can find on my own. Mushrooms. Do that for cooking. That's good for now. What if that torch means that somebody's working there? Bum, bum. Hi, Uthris. Good to see you. Wait. We're full inventory. Let's RTB. Alright, so hopefully they they got... 
<coughs> better luck than I do at finding hemp. I can maybe find, I know like two places where it is and that's about it. I wonder if this is the type of the, a game where the AI kind of just magically finds stuff or if it like uh, actually goes to where it is. Hey, we got three linen now. We needed that for the bag research. All right, let's drop off some food. Yeah, I'll go back to the forger and change some of its settings here shortly. Good. Oh, we got research going. Let's go. If I need hemp, you know a guy? Does this know a guy have an arc, perhaps? Okay, so we're researching the mud thing and then we gotta research the bag. So we can get the bag, get the bag, get the bag. Okay, so the mud pit is done, and then we can finally make a hoe and a shovel once we build that, I think. Nice. Okay, now the bag. Oh, cool. It was already 75% researched. All right, cool. So they'll probably finish that tomorrow. Then we also need to research a shovel, unless that comes with it for free. Oh, yeah. It looks like anything without the padlock is free. So we should know how to make a shovel now. Yep, okay, cool. That's eight wood. Oh, and a copper ingot. No... All right, so that means we got to start doing a f furnace of some sort. Just stopping by, doing a small stream today. It's been 130 days since your last one. Oh, what are you going to... Uthras is streaming? Let's go! Exclamation point Uthras in the chat. Let's go. What are you playing? What are you going to do? If you ever want to join for anything, by the way, let me know. Just send a DM and be like, I want in. We would love to have you, man. You're never intruding. Always feel welcome, man. Hey, we got mushrooms. Sweet. Mushroom, mushroom. You're testing vintage story mods. Ooh. If you guys want a hardcore survival game, this game's not so much on the hardcore survival side, but it has a little bit more to do with combat and building. But man, Uthras plays a game called Vintage Story. And at the surface, the game looks like Minecraft, and it totally is, but that game, Vintage Story, goes so far into, like, crafting and, like, um, metalworking and stuff like that. Like, there's some crazy, legitimate blacksmithing in that game, and pottery and stuff, and food preservation. Vintage Story on Uthras' channel is going to be amazing. Eco's good, but Vintage Story is just like, whoa. Vintage Story is probably one of the, and especially with mods, it's probably one of the most comprehensive uh, survival games I've ever seen. So, uh, exclamation point Uthras, yeah, sub to his channel. Get it going. Hey, why is there just a random log sitting there? <laughs> Someone just carried it over and was just like, meh. Okay. I guess we'll have to wait for tomorrow for research to be complete on the bag, and then we will try to research. So I need something to make copper. There's a hunting tent there. 
Small trap standing torch. House and village shrine. Fencing, logging camp, stockpile, pit saw. Ah, that's what we'll need to make a bloomery. Five wood and five crude stone. Okay, that's going to be easy. But we're only going to be able to smelt our surface stuff. I don't know if I... I may have found a little bit of copper, but... I know we have, like, some tin, but we'll have to find the copper. Right, let's go to bed. Yeah, Vintage Story hates me. I I was so fr I tried to go in there and be such a... I wanted to be a helpful force to my friends, and it just... For the first 40 minutes, I did great, and then after that, it was like, Hey, um, listen, we've, we've been talking... Me and the rest of the AI have been talking, and we want you out. And Lumberjack and Dirty had a time of their lives. Hey, the bag's done. Oh, it's going to be a rainy day. All right, let's research this bloomery then. Oop. Five stone, five wood. Go get some stones. We'll make a starter guide. <laughs> yeah. You're going to make a starter guide on how to install mods, or is it going to be a... Hi, I'm Uthris. Uh... Tip number one, don't die. Tee hee, that was my video. Don't forget to sub for this and more parking lot related action on the channel. Alright, cool. So now we got the bloomery going. So we should be able to melt copper. So now I gotta figure out where the hell copper is. Which I think is maybe over here. Or maybe there. <laughs> parking lot. Oh, look. The parking lot thing is valid for a decade. After 2026, you can remind me that it, you'll need to renew your new content license, okay? Wow, they go through food like crazy. I need to put these plants away. Okay, let's go looking for copper. And whatever else. <laughs> Becomes fun. Well, yeah, Uthris, technically you own parking lots then until 20... Uh, 2116. So you do have the... Uh, you do have that covered. Okay, so new goal. Go find copper and tin. And, you know, then we'll be able to make bronze and stuff. But it looks like we need copper ingots to make the shovel first. Where am I going? Well, let's go to the right. Some copper deposit where the second village you went to near the cliff. Oh, good. Oh, right. I think you're right. Well, there is a blacksmith down there. I mean, we could fast travel and go talk to him. All right, let me let me check over here, and then if there's nothing but crap, then we'll we'll, we'll teleport to the other side. Oh, I can't har Oh, I can't harvest cuz it belongs to the village. Oh, I think I got to be out of this white circle. Who's that? Oh, that's to turn that in, I think. All right. Um we'll go to the fast travel point and then we'll just fast travel to the other village. We'll go look for copper. Chat seems to remember it's near the second village. The Villaggio. You once accepted a challenge to com uh, to eat a clock. I don't recommend it. It's very time consuming. 
Okay, see, all right, I gotta get text to speech back online and get. We gotta get back on this on the horse with our regular, good old streams. finding hemp now I'll have to update the forger to make sure it's not set to one off but we want to keep like a minimum oh well wait a minute you know what real quick with the let's see if we can make the uh oh oh great a raid tomorrow that's wonderful we're gonna be attacked everybody a raid shadow legend is incoming pending doom All right, how much to make the bag? Ooh, the bag is literally... Oh, we got everything to make it except for just a little bit more hemp. All right, before we leave, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find some more hemp. See if we can make this. I think there's some over here. I think it's in, like, this yellowy area. make that I want to make that bag adding rivers to sent an example of the current terrain to you oh really Dalden looks amazing we also need to do more uh, open TTD chat was mentioning open TTD before you arrived I need one more hemp all right I'm making myself a bag let's get home then we're gonna go get copper and if we're going to get copper, then we could probably make a reinforced club, too. Almost more like a mace. Oh, wow. Rivers, too. Do the rivers, um... Oh, yeah, and the, the boats don't need buoys. Yeah, they, they updated that. I love that. Um, do the rivers in Vintage Story now kind of create like a, pr like a pressure that can, you know, like a physical force that can be harnessed? Can we make water wheels? Okay, I don't want that anymore. Let's make a bag. I can just grab all this stuff myself. Uh, yeah, we need a pickaxe to gather copper nuggets, but I don't think we can make a pickaxe until we've got... We can gather a few things by hand. Just gonna gather a few. Yeah, we can upgrade our campfire. We have to research something called a, um, a smoker. And we need copper for that, I think. We're working our way there. I need one more hemp. Mod comes with water wheels. Outstanding. Where's the hemp? Were we short on one? I thought we had three at the camp. I gathered two. I thought that'd be five. I 
I'll go find another. That's enough. requires crafting two. We can make it, but I gotta wait for somebody else to do it. But how do I put the f materials in there for them? Is he doing it? Hmm. Damn, I need even more boxes, man. I'm trusting the AI a little bit more to do what they're supposed to do. So let's see if we can get them to do it. We'll set everybody to a higher level of crafting. So we've got somebody working on foraging, delivering hemp from the forager, delivering mushrooms, delivering berries. So yeah, everybody should be able to do most of this stuff, yeah. I like how it tells you what they're doing. What's this game? First word in the title. throw out all this spoiled food. I was hoping spoiled food would be something we could use for, like, fertilizer, but now it's just taking up space. Wow, the villagers are actually making food and stuff, too? Let's go. Can I do anything to prepare for the raid? Um, yeah, I mean, we've given our people weapons and stuff already. I, I think we're ready for it. The raids aren't too bad at the moment. Bro, can you make my bag? Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. How long? Oh, there's the progress bar. All right, it's going to take a little while. Okay, then we'll go get copper, and then we'll try to start on the bloomery. Oh, let's build our bro uh, bloomery, too. What do we need to build that? Bloomery is there. 20 stone to make that thing. All right. Put 
put the bloomery over here. Alright. Somebody will build that. So, he's almost done. Alright, I'm going to get my bag, then we're going to go out looking for stone, copper, tin. And we'll build the bloomery. Then we can process all that stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful. Done. Now, how do I get it? Where did he put that? I don't know why he's putting the stuff in there. We're not crafting anything. Mm. Oh, is it in his equipment slot? No, but he's full of stones now to build that bloomery. Yeah, where the hell did the bag go? Hmm. Oh, cool. We only need four more stones. All right. I don't know where my bag went. I want my, my bag before I go uh, gather stones and stuff. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's weird. He was working over here at the weaver's table, and then he put it in the weaver's loom. Very strange. Also, why does the bag have durability? That's weird. Oh, that gives us uh, another 3x3. Three three. Okay, cool. So that gives us another um, nine slots of inventory. Sweet. All right, cool. Well, that was complicated, but we got it. Okay, let's go to uh, fast travel to the other town. We'll go look for copper and stone. Can we actually see the bag on us? Mm. I don't see it. Yay. Okay, let's go uh, in the mountains here. Oh, wait. If I go too close to the town, we can't gather that stuff. Yeah, in order to make a pickaxe, we need to make it probably out of copper, which we can gather on the surface. Tin and copper can be found on the surface without mining. Well, there's a bunch of stones there. No chance.
Let's see. Food, gear, buildings, tutorials. Resources, copper ore. Uh, used in combination with tin to produce bronze, can be picked up under rock formations or mined from copper rocks with a pickaxe. Can be found. Okay, so we can find copper ore on the surface. Real good uh, rock formation here, though, for stones. Perhaps if we mine these rocks, we might be able to... Um, maybe there's copper and stuff underneath, too. That smoke there, I think, is a bandit camp. Yep. Wow, lots of hemp here. Oh, there was an incredible amount of hemp here. Fuel for the bloomery. Copper rocks that we found. Yeah, we found copper. Uh, actually, it might be indicated here. We found it before. It was way over here. Oh, there it is. Yep. Copper ore is there. Okay. I don't know if we can find chunks of it, though. Bum, bum. Yeah, the big bag gave us nine slots. There's a lot more room for all that hemp we found. That was, that was a big old hemp haul. Possibly the biggest hemp haul in human history. That was like DEA levels. They're coming after us now. We better fast travel out of here. Hold on. I'm getting a call. Hello? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Love, love you too. Okay, bye. Sorry, guys, that was Bellright. Bellright called and said that was the biggest amount of hemp ever. And that we should be proud. I can't believe that, dude. I can't believe they called. That was amazing. Okay, um... I love you, hemp hauler. Oh, what is that? Wolves. Um... Go drop all this stuff off.
Wow, look at all the crap we can carry now. Well, let's drop off these uh, berries for them. <laughs> Grand Theft Medieval 6. There kind of is a Grand Theft Auto game about medieval times. It's called uh, Rustler. And it's top down. It's supposed to kind of mimic the original Grand Theft Auto uh, games. Oh, damn, we finished the bloomery too. Let's go. Oh, there, yeah, fuel. Add copper ore or tin ore. Okay. All right, so we got to go to where the copper ore is tomorrow. I hope this continues to burn without um like I hope I can put fuel in there and that it doesn't count as burning until it's actually like producing. You know what I mean? No, we don't have a pickaxe yet. I think we need to unlock a pickaxe. Well, let's take a look. So in order to get a pickaxe, we need to unlock a mining camp. But a pickaxe is probably made with, uh, well actually this could be made with stone. It could be possible to do this. Let's try, let's give that a try. Because then we'll go to where that copper deposit is tomorrow. And then we'll mine all that copper and bring it back. So that is where. Uh. Oh, oh. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we want this. Mining camp. Five wood, five stone. They'll research that tomorrow. And then that automatically unlocks the simple pickaxe. But then we have to unlock... Then we have to probably uh, make that. And that's probably sticks and stone, so that's easy. And then that should be en enough for that. So with the bloomery and the simple pickaxe, we can then make the shovel because that requires iron ingots. And probably the hoe requires that too. So then that means we also need to research the farm and hoe. So we'll finish the mining camp, then we'll finish the farm and hoe, and then we'll go looking for copper too. Yeah, we could probably buy a pickaxe from town, but um, honestly we, we have to get down this tech tree for certain things. I do like with the boxes too, we can assign certain things to go there. Like we could say yes and no. Oh, uh, that's right. We got that raid tomorrow. Um, yeah, maybe we shouldn't leave. More spoiled food. throw that in the trash yeah let's go ahead and yeah let's on schedule the raid for tomorrow let's give them a call actually it's a DEA raid after picking up all that hemp <laughs> we got the, the DEA is on the way so they're about to raid us tomorrow so we got to deal with the DEA after that humongously huge hemp haul again one, one of the biggest of all time like it was it was confirmed guys we got a phone call about it okay then we're gonna go to bed and you know what what's really dumb about the raids though we don't know when when it'll be coming in so like we got to kind of hang out around base and wait for it
Yes, there is copper and tin on the ground that we can pick up. We went over that when we when we opened up the journal and we went to the codex, and then when we went to general and looked at, uh, or rather, under world, when we looked at copper ore, it clarified that by saying can be found and that it can be picked up under rock formations or mined from copper rocks. We did, we did confirm that. So it's likely that we can find more copper than what we can mine. Which is nice. So when we get attacked, the attack will probably come in from this camp here. So while we wait... I could try to... We could run over to the copper ore site and try to make a fast travel point. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll come back for the fight. Yeah, we can build walls and towers eventually, but it's something we gotta research. So we can't do it yet. Can we raid them first? Maybe, but I have a sneaking suspicion that if we go there... There'll probably be like three bandits defending the camp, and then when they go to attack us, it'll probably th spawn three more to like come and attack us, so we'll have to deal with six. I wouldn't be able to deal with that number of enemies. Alright. Let's focus on building a fast travel point for our copper mining. Okay, mining camp is done. Beautiful. Then we can work on making that uh, pickaxe. We'll probably mine after the fight. Right now I'm just doing fast travel. Setting it up. What is that? Oh, three boar? No. No thank you. Okay, on the har the hardest thing to find on our way there will probably be stone. Other than that, we just need a log and sticks. Those are easy. So we got to be on the lookout for stone and berries for the fight. I haven't seen bears yet. I haven't seen bears. Boars are actually kind of easy to fight. One at a time, that is. What's this? Copper ore. Hey, wait, there's some here. We don't have to go that far. There's just some right there. Let's make. Oh, and there's probably river reed. Oh, let's go. Okay. But well, we got to make our fast travel point near a road. So <laughs> we're not even that far from the camp. Should I even make a fast travel point? It's not that far. I guess we should. Let's build it up here. It has to be near a road, though. Uh, Raptor, for her birthday, I took my wife to an orchard and we stood there looking at the trees for half an hour. Not the Apple Watch she was expecting, apparently. Wow. Dude, there's so many... Oh, there's the copper up there. So many enemies around. Okay, we need... Two, one stick and two logs. Oh, copper ore. Hey, and it's right on the surface. Cool. Our first copper ore, I think. I, I there, We might have some at the base.
<laughs> the roads. There we go. Am I... There we go. Okay, so now we can head back and make a pickaxe for ourselves. And then we can go back mining whenever. Also, I can throw some copper in the bloomery. We might have more copper around, or somebody's automatically doing it. Oh, no, they were not, because I didn't order that to be done. Okay, let's see if we got copper ore. More spoiled food. Oh. Oh, look at that. Product code you registered has been revoked from your account by the publisher. Bell right for beta testing. Oh, they're shutting us down, boys, before the raid. Nice try. <laughs> we keep playing. So we won't be able to play Bell right again after today once I once I shut it down. The alternative is to keep the game open, but uh, you know. It's alright. Okay, there's tin. I didn't see any copper here. Now it's okay. We're all right. It, it, I just won't be able to start up the game again. But the next time, we, because we played this and because we kind of like experimented and explored and took our time, I think we now know the beeline to, uh, you know, speeding things up. Also, I think we can load a save. Like, the next time we play this, we can just load a save. And pick up where we left off. Uh, where's copper? I'm gonna make, like, ten. I don't even know if it's working. Okay, let's make a, uh, axe. Pickaxe, that is. So, eight wood and a strap. Really? That's a weird combo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can always go back to the day before. You guys want to go play the day before? I need that for me. And then a strap. Oh, here comes the raid. The raid will take a little bit to get here. Let's make sure we recruit everybody. I hope everybody has food. Let me quickly... No, here. Yeah, let's quickly make this. Yeah, Evil Genius 2 is on sale for $1.99, yeah. I tried to spread the word as best I could. Okay, and then... Find our other companions. Oh, we didn't give the one new guy a weapon, though. I might be able to just give him an axe. Or actually, what will happen is he can just hang out in his house. Like, if somebody's unarmed, they'll just duck into their house and they'll be safe. So we'll be alright. Okay, 
bandage. She had like one, one damage. Oh, she needs food. Didn't you guys cook all the mushrooms? Where, where's all that? Oh, probably all was spoiled, didn't it? Dude, how'd she get... Oh, dude, you're wasting my bandages. Why is she taking, like, one damage and then requiring a bandage? There, I have another one. Okay, who doesn't have a weapon? You. I'll give you my, uh, axe for now. I'll take it back at the end of the attack. Come here, dude. There, now he's got a weapon. Alright, we're all locked in. Let's go. Is all that spo food spoiled? Yeah. It's just berries and stuff. It's nothing... Nothing... Crazy. Okay, where are they at? While we wait for them, I'm going to try to find more blueberries and feed our team. We're going to have a lunch. We're stopping for a locally sourced lunch. We're going to try to find a place that has avocado flavored mineral water. That's locally sourced. Yeah, I don't know. There might be a reason to keep all that food. All the spoiled food. I, I was hoping it could be like a fertilizer or something. Alright, here they come. Alright team, we're going to go ahead and charge. And if you guys could go ahead and go there. That'd be nice. Go attack! I'll get the guy in the back. Bad bandit, bad. Well, our people are dead. Oh boy. They're not dead. They're okay. <laughs> they feel disgruntled and annoyed. They're not dead. They'll wake up tomorrow and be okay. And now, it's time to get cheesy. Drop the bread in, that's bad. <gasps> Steve, did you drop the bread in? Oh, ultimate punishment. Did it. And that's how to defeat a raid. I got some money and books on them. Let's go. Okay, so our people who are, you know, dead are not dead. Um, what will happen is when we go to bed, they'll go to bed too, and then they'll just sleep it off, and then they'll just be alive tomorrow. So we kind of lose out on a day of, like, productivity, but it is what it is. They're just sleeping. Nap time. And that's how to uh, do work and stuff. All right, anybody want to make a short on that? Thank you.
It makes me wonder what the enemy will do if we build a wall and then like stand on the edge of the wall. Like, will they attack the wall? Okay, cool. All right. Did we get any food? Here, you guys can have some roasted mushrooms. As a thank you for your service. I'll check on those books later. You guys can have all that crap. And I'm going mining. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we gave them a permanent nap time. That's right. Okay, let's go mining. Also, I think our people who are knocked down keep their stuff. As long as they don't die. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> That's what we call plan B. Bows nearby, fast traveling not possible. Oh, there must be wolves or something that wandered next to the fast travel point. Wait, does it say? Waypoint. Oh, somebody's alive. Oh, Rob's back. Rob, where the hell were you? And eh, maybe he healed up. Rob, what happened, bro? He's just casually walking around with some lunch. I'm on break, bro. That looks horrible. What is that? It's gray. All right, let's go copper mining. Yeah, so essentially, I think if you can build a tower and then maybe a wall around it and somehow get the enemy to run at you and stay at the bottom of the wall, you'll have a situation like what you get in uh, Going Medieval, where in that game, it's really fun to build like walls and towers and then shoot at the enemy as they approach. You could probably kill like three or four enemies that way. Um, All right, so apparently enemies are around here. Oh, I heard a deer. Nah, I'm not even not even gonna not even gonna bother. Also, we need sticks for the bloomery. Is this copper? Nope. What do we got in inventory? Just sticks. Okay. Dungeon siege. Hmm. He's French. Union break. What, the dead guy? Oh, you, you mean Rob, but yeah. Okay, so there's tin ore. May as well grab that too. Alright, what enemies are nearby? A wolf and a wolf. Well, let's get some more, get the fondue pot fired up. Okay, never mind. How do we do mining? Is this mining? Okay. All right, chat, we're mining now.
And you know what that means. Hold on. That means... Hmm. Okay. Huh. Amen, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is weird mining. Like, we're... We're, like, attacking the rock. Like, on occasion, we're getting copper, but I don't know if I'm in the right spot to get it. Well, it says copper over on the left, so I think we're in the right spot. <laughs> Just mining my own business. I think the logging and the mining should look a little different, because it's like they they use the attack system for it. And yeah, sure, you could hit somebody with an axe or a, a pickaxe, sure, but... Oh, that, ooh. oh, good thing we brought the bag. Alright. Well, we do have to go back. It's almost the end of the day. Let's head back. We can easily fast travel. We got this. Then we'll throw some foot, uh, some big old wood in there. How do you check the villager status before you invite them to the town? Uh, you can go up to them and then invite them. And then they'll be like, yeah, maybe. And then they'll... Uh, then you can see their stats before you, like, give a final confirmation. Alright, copper ore, tin ore. Oh, are we making... I want to make copper, though. Oh, it says nine. We've set it to ten, so there must be some in there. Oh, yeah, there... Oh, bronze ingot. Oh, no, it's based on the recipe. Ah, well, whatever. We'll make one bronze. But copper is what we want for the shovel, so we'll just make sure we don't put tin in there. We should just be able to smelt copper that way. Oh, it looks like it can only take one at a time. Oh, so we're going to need somebody to manage the bloomery all the time because we can't just dump off a ton of material. So we're going to need somebody to work the forge. But I don't think anybody in our village has the ability to forge. I guess it falls under crafting. Okay. Well, then I'll just put the copper in storage and then ask them to make... 10 copper ingots or whatever. Then it'll probably get done. And of course I have no sp space in the boxes again. There. That'll do. That'll do. And we'll throw that in the research bench. And then we wanted to research um, the farm and the hoe, which is mud and garlic, so we gotta make the... We actually gotta make the mud collector now before we can make the hoe. We gotta go build that. Wait. That means we need the shovel. So that means we need copper. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, we still need the meat smoker. Yep. Um, let's see if we can make that. So the meat smoker was here. That just requires five hemp, crude stone, and wood. Alright, so they could probably research that. We might have enough stuff for that. Alright, so a lot of people are going to ask me what I think about the game so far. And honestly, now I think at this point that we're able to actually start mining and have more NPCs. It's, it's really starting to get more fun and interesting. 
Uh, the bow and arrow stuff was a little frustratingly done uh, for hunting deer, so I think they had to work on that. And there's AI voicing in the game, too, which I guess is okay. I mean, at least AI voicing is a good way to at least... Voice actors are expensive. So for an early access game that's designing the game, at least we don't have to read everything ourselves. Like, if I had to read everything myself or have it voice acted, I'd prefer for it to be voice acted. But this is a good, like, mid-ground to at least have somebody, like a voice actor, reading it. Because then... For each of the different characters, if you get a different voice, it kind of adds to the immersion, even though it, even though it's AI and it's, you know, like, you can easily tell. So, uh, but this game has some potential that I want to keep following and see, like, where it goes. Like, I don't know. Like, it, it, it's fun to build stuff. It's fun to recruit people. Whether you're doing that in PAL World or Rim World or, um, you know, Medieval Dynasty or whatnot, it's cool to, like, build stuff and then try to recruit people, have them come on in and then start doing a piece of the puzzle. So gathering food, cooking food, mining, logging, that kind of stuff. So th this is certainly one I want to keep an eye on and keep playing and check it out. But, um, yeah. Uh, looks like the release date has just been put back. Well, I didn't see a release date uh, earlier today, and I think chat was um, also saying they didn't see one. So I, if there was a release date, I have no idea. But, um, you know, hopefully it's soon. And, it, and if they push it back, good. You know, like, the last thing we all want is games that are rushed out and then incomplete, and then you can't really play them anyway. Oh, wow. There we go. We got bronze. Cool. Although I'm not telling my people to make bronze. What are you folks doing? Oh, there we go. Copper now. Good. All right. Well, they'll keep that running. And it also looks like we might be able to build multiple bloomeries. So maybe that's something we could build a second one. And then have them operate both of those. Because one, once they put in wood and the materials, that's it. Cool. They anticipated it was quarter one. Well, quarter one technically ends, like, what, in 24 hours? Like, we're on to quarter two in April. April, May, and June are quarter two. So, that's nah, all good. It's all good. All right, well, time for bed. Day 29. Oh, we almost survived like a month. Good stuff. All right, let's make sure we save. Hope we did. All right, everybody. Well, that's all the time we have today for Bellright, but stay tuned for a game known as uh, Manor Lords. Have you guys heard of this game? <laughs> what? Yes, Manor Lords gameplay going live right now on the channel. If you're a big fan of Bellright and the uh, you know the third person survival crafting, perhaps you'll enjoy this game called Manor Lords, which is a top down city builder with warfare and much more. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So enjoy the new video premiering right now on the channel, and I'll be back in a little while with uh, some new stuff from New Cycle. So there is the uh, link to the new video. Click or tap that link right now, and you guys will be live redirected to our uh, look at the. Um, 2022 demo before it comes out on August, uh, sorry, April 26, 2024. All right, I'm going to jump out. I'll be back in a little bit and uh, we'll start our uh, new cycle stream after Manor Lords is over. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you very much. Hey, leave a like if you like what you saw. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. It really helps out the channel and is a great free way for you guys to see more great free content. Enjoy, and I'll see you all in just a little bit. Oh, come on. No.